What's up guys? Mr. Scepter here. Welcome to another video. And let's get to it. We're going to start off by removing the Sari guard. It's held on by the two bolts on the frame at the top and slides into a bracket on the exhaust. First remove the two bolts at the top. You can also remove the rear grab handle by removing the other two bolts on the right hand side. We're going to leave the bracket on, the left hand exhaust for now. You can put back the four bolts on the frame or just leave them as they are. To remove the rear fender extender, remove the two bolts in the middle and the nuts on the sides. You will need a screwdriver to grab onto the bolt from the other side as you do this. Now we decided to take a shortcut and cut the hole on the extender because we won't be using it again. After, that's done, just replace the bolts and that's it. To remove the oil filler cap, just turn it anti-clockwise. If it's too tight, try turning it with a pair of pliers. We replaced it with the OEM aftermarket oil cap. After it's installed and hand tightened, just press fit the emblem. Now let's move on to the brake reservoir cap. Before starting, make sure that you cover the surrounding area using a piece of cloth or some shop rags. Start by removing the two screws with a screwdriver. Take off the cap and remove the rubber diaphragm as well as the plastic vent cap. Seat the diaphragm and vent cap onto the reservoir and replace the cap with the aftermarket part. Now replace the screws and you're done. We're going to replace the shock strut finishes next. Start by removing the bolt using a hex key. Thread the bolt through the finisher and the washer and install it back.
Repeat the steps for the right hand side as well. We're going to move on to the bar end finishes and mirrors next. Start by removing the end caps of the bar ends. This part is a bit tricky as the end caps must be held in place while removing the bolt at the end. Otherwise the whole thing tends to spin freely. Remove the mirrors next. Note that the threads on the right mirror are in reverse so you have to turn it in the opposite direction to get it off. Slide the bar end mirror and tighten the bolt to secure it in place. Make sure to leave a small gap on the right hand side so that the throttle can move freely. Install the bar end finishes and tighten the bolt. Install the mirror hole plugs and tighten them, and you're done. We're going to replace the headlight bulb with an LED one. Start by removing the two screws on both the sides of the headlight, Pull on the bottom to release the latch on the top. Now remove the black connector which goes to the main headlight bulb. Remove the rubber seal as well. To remove the bulb, gently move the two spring clips to the side. Now replace the bulb and put the spring clips in place. Install the rubber seal in the correct orientation and reinstall the connector. Insert the latch at the top of the headlight into the housing first and align the two screw holes. Once they're aligned just replace the screws and tighten them and that's it.